Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Dave Hayes. I am back with another ROM overview, and as you guys can tell just by the uh, wallpaper that this is Pac-Man. Uh, now, I haven't done a Pac-Man ROM uh, video or review in quite a while, um, and I was just talking to uh, one of the uh, one of you uh, subscribers um, mentioned Pac-Man, and which was kind of funny because. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, DreamFX, uh, a friend from XDA, um, used to build Pac-Man ROMs for me a long time ago. Um, well, not that long ago. Basically back, I think it was uh, Lollipop. Uh, yeah, I'm almost sure it was Lollipop. And I used to run his, uh, uh, his builds for my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Well... He sent me a PM, told me that he built one uh, for uh, a marshmallow build for the uh, Nexus 6. So I thought, all right, I'll give it a try. And it was so good, I wanted to do a, uh, a review on it. Because there are a lot of really cool features uh, in uh, in Marshmallow Pac-Man that, uh, that I thought, you know, it really warrants its own uh, review video. Now, this build is not the one DreamFX built. Uh, you know, that's his personal build. Uh, without his permission, I am not going to uh, put that out. But this is the official Pac-Man ROM or Pac-ROM build uh, for the Nexus 6. And this is the one we're going to go over. Uh, I will tell you guys that I did uh, flash uh, Blackbird Kernel. Uh, the reason why is it was in the custom build that uh, DreamFX built. Um, and it works beautifully in this ROM. I highly recommend that if you flash this ROM, flash Blackbird's, uh, Blackbird latest kernel. Um, this kernel is developed by Raven Tech. Um, I will put all the links in the description, and it works flawlessly, guys. It is an outstanding kernel, um, both for performance uh, and battery optimizations. You guys can tweak this kernel out to... The, to uh, just throw the highest scores possible on Antutu if that's your thing. Or you can go right in the middle of the road uh, and go with a um, very optimized kernel setting which runs all your games, everything super smooth, uh, you know, batteries in the middle. Or you can just optimize it for battery, which will also run all your games very, very well. Anyways, we're going to get into the build. We're going to go right to developer options first off. Uh, First up is going to be your advanced reboot, uh, and of course these are just the settings that I use uh, that I'm really going to emphasize on. Uh, you do have your uh, app access or your root access. You can go apps ADB. Uh, that's how I go. Uh, I highly recommend that's the way that you do it. Uh, then you do have your Android debugging. Make sure that that is on, and you guys can pick and choose from there on out what you want to show. I like the fact that they do have the local terminal in there. Um, I always put that on. Uh, if you guys know how to use a terminal, it is a nice feature to have. You can do a lot of things like setting your permissions, um, uh, tweaking audio, just all kinds of things uh, if you know how to use it. Uh, then if we want to scroll on down to the drawing section on this, that is where you're going to find your multi-window mode right there. Uh, if you guys use that feature, that is where you're going to turn that on at. And then, of course, all the way at the bottom is going to be your kill app back button. And sorry about the way my voice sounds, guys. I uh, can't change it. I was born with it. Uh, for those of you that <laughs> want to punch me in my voice box because you can't stand it, uh, all I can tell you is turn volume down. Uh, so I'm going to move on. Um, I'm going to do things a little different. We're going to go ahead and start from the top. Uh, and I'm going to go through this quickly because there is a way to get to the custom features, but I'm going to hit uh, all of the settings first. So we're just going to go into sound quickly, let you guys see what that looks like. Uh, basic marshmallow settings. Uh, you have your other sound options here. You guys can pick and choose on whatever you want with that. Uh, something I didn't do, which I'm going to do now before I get one. I'm going to go into my notifications tone. And choose none. Yes, there we go. And uh, I will go ahead and set my ringtone all the way down. 
hopefully now if I get a notification, it will not, I should have done that at the beginning, but it will not uh, show up. Then all the way at the bottom, you have your vibration controls. You guys can set your, uh, you know, your vibrate for call if you want, uh, vibrate on touch if you want, uh, and then all the way at clean at the bottom is going to be where your vibration intensity is at. I usually run right around 30%. Uh, 34% is not too bad, uh, so we're going to go with that. If you guys really want to uh, save battery um, and you are just picking and choosing this and that uh, and, you know, squeezing every little ounce out, you can just set your vibrations to off. Uh, that will help a little bit. Um, we have display and lights. Uh, again, you're going to find in your display and lights uh, that this is your standard uh, marshmallow settings. You're not going to find a lot in here. Uh, you do have your LCD density. If you guys want to change that, uh, go for it. Uh, I think that 560 DPI is actually perfect for this. Uh, that is what the default setting is for most all ROMs out there, and I think it just works best. Uh, just my preference. You guys can set this to whatever you want. Now, one thing I don't like about Pac-Man, these are your notification settings, uh, your notification lights. You do not have any control over color. I don't like that whatsoever. I like to be able to control my colors. I like to be able to look down at my screen when I get a notification and be able to tell just from the color of my, my LED whether it is a message, a voicemail, or you know a voice message, or even a phone call that I might have missed. Sometimes I have my uh, volume turned all the way down, so you know I might be in a meeting or something. All right, that was display. Uh, quickly, I'm going to hit buttons. Let you guys see that. Uh, you do have button layout. You can change that out wherever you want. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, quickly, you just hit that edit button. Physically drag your buttons where you want them. Hit save, and you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set everything back. Uh, that is how I like to run. Power menu. There's not a lot to choose from on your power menu. This is based on Cyanogen Mod, uh, and Cyanogen Mod does not give you a lot. Uh, I would really like to see Pac-Man go a little bit further with that, but from what I'm reading, excuse me, I'm going to take a drink real quick, but uh, from uh, what I read on their website, uh, they have stopped all further building as far as Marshmallow goes, development I should say. Uh, they are adding in uh, any updates as far as security goes, stuff like that. But they are now working on the N, uh, Marshmallow N. So, just so you guys know. Uh, pretty much, you set up all your hardware buttons, your volume buttons, uh, your power buttons. Uh, this is all the settings for that. Uh, let me think here. Security would be next. Oh, it is signage and mod, so you do have privacy uh, settings on this, which gives you privacy guard. Uh, you have your privacy guard settings. Yes, I know. You can go in and set each app up uh, personally, and this is this is the best way to do it. I like the way signage and mod does it, um, and I wish all the other ROMs would do that as well. Um, you do have your block caller list, uh, pack ROM uh, statistics. You guys can turn that on or off. I actually have mine off right now. Uh, and then, of course, you have your protected apps. And where is security? I must have passed it. There it is. All right, these are your security settings. Uh, you have your, advice, your device administrators. You guys can turn that on or off if you want. I always turn mine off. Uh, of course, unknown sources. Make sure that you have that turned on. Uh, if you are new to Android... Those of you that are watching this and are new, please turn that on, uh, or you will not be able to uh, turn or install apps from your internal storage or any that you have downloaded. It is it will give you an option when you hit it to install to go in here and turn that on. It's just easier to have it on turned on now. Done, you'd be done and over with. Uh, all the way at the bottom, of course, you're going to have your screen pinning. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Now, you would think, geez, uh, Pac-Man is straight signage in mod, but it's not. Uh, if you go into your app drawer, and if you scroll down to the P section, <laughs> the P section, you're going to find what they call Pac-Console. Now, the Pac-Console the Pac is going to give you uh, 
a couple more customization options and it's also going to give you all the, uh, the the direct links to their Google Plus uh, community, uh, to their website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, the GitHub page and uh, your the Git, GitHub, the GitHub page and your Garrett. Uh, if you guys are into developing or anything like that, uh, that is where your GitHub and Garrett is go are going to come in for you. Uh, as far as uh, features, added features, um, feedback, bugs, uh, reporting bugs, you want to go to Google Plus for that. Uh, these are the custom settings. Battery, uh, you can go with whatever style type battery you want. Uh, I am going with a battery icon as opposed to 3 minute uh, because 3 minute is not functioning on this. Uh, that is because this is Cyanogen Mod 3, or 3 Minute Mod does not work well with Cyanogen Mod. It does if you can get a zip for it. Um, so all I can say is go to the uh, 3 Minute uh, Battery Settings page uh, on the XDA thread for the Nexus 6. Put in a request uh, and see if they'll build you a zip for it. Uh, next up would be the battery bar. Of course, you guys can set that up however you want or leave it off. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I have mine set right now at um, um, at regular uh, settings. What that means is I control all the color. Uh, if you want, you can actually go down to uh, where it says use gradient, and that will actually change it to a gradient type. Well, actually, I think I'm running gradient right now. Yes. And what it does is it gives you a gradient look. I'll go home and let you see that a little better. You notice how it starts out orangish red and then turns to purple? That's the gradient effect. Now, if I was to go back in and if I was to go back in and, and turn that feature off, then if I was to go home, you notice it is a solid purple now because that's the colors that I set up. Uh, it would be purple until it hit 20%, then it would turn to yellow because it would read that I'm ha that I, I'm at a low battery uh, and then when I'm charging it's going to charge at a, a blue I think is what I have it set at all right let's go we're going to go back oh that's right you have to keep doing that next up would be your clock settings standard clock settings uh, you're going to get your right left center or hidden uh, you do get to uh, set your AM PM if you want and your date if you want uh, which is pretty cool. I'd like to see where we could actually, uh, you know, set the, you know, the the size of it. That would be nice, but I mean, it is straight CM, so you're not going to get uh, those features. Uh, network traffic. Uh, if you guys want to see what's coming in, going out, you're going to want to turn that on. Uh, they do give you the option to color it. Uh, I do like that. Ah, I keep hitting that back button. And next up are going to be your status bar settings. Uh, you have your brightness control, show notification count, quick pull down. Uh, you guys can set up, set that up right, left, or off. Uh, and they also have the smart pull down if you guys use that. That is there. Uh, you have your status bar icons. Um, oh, yeah, okay. This is where you can pick and choose from what you want to actually show on the status bar. I don't know where my head was at. It was a brain fart, but uh, there are the ones you can pick and choose from. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm running Lunar for my theme right now. Uh, they do include time contextual header, so you guys notice uh, they have that uh, whole uh, contextual header up there. I, I, again, uh, I would love to see them add that in their uh, theme engine where you can pick and choose from the different headers. Uh, that would be really cool, but they don't. Uh, and then, of course, last up is going to be your Super Sue indicator if you want to show that. And that is pretty much it, guys. There are no more settings than that. Uh, it is, again, Pac-Man. Um, and Pac-Man's just, the, you know, what it is. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty straight copy of Cynogen Mod with a couple extra features uh, built right in, uh, you know, including, of course, the Pac console. Um, and they do have Theme Engine. Uh, theme Engine is working great. Uh, again, the only thing I don't like about it, it, is, it does not include uh, headers. I'd love to see that feature included in there. Uh, that would be kick-ass, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I think the, uh, the inclusion of the header packs are uh, up and coming, and I think it is one of the better 
uh, updates that they have done with the uh, CMTE. So, just my opinion, but uh, right now, again, uh, I am running uh, Lunar UI. Uh, this is the theme I'm running. I am running the uh, status bar, nav bar, and style. Those are your three main settings that you set when you run this, uh, and that is what I'm running. Uh, now for my icons, I'm actually running, it's a new one, it's called Saturate. Uh, right there, it's called Saturate. It's actually very, very cool. I like them. It's from Drum Destroyer is the name of the uh, developer for those. And my fonts, I am running Blue Hydra. Uh, these are the fonts that I'm running right there. I've noticed, though, that Blue Hydra has, um, they're a little bigger. So, if you have your settings, and I'll show you quickly. If you go into your settings and you go to uh, Display and Lights and go down to where it says Font Size, if you run that any, any more than 100% or at normal, your fonts are going to start to get cut off on certain apps or certain things that you do. So, just be aware of that. Well, guys, again, uh, that is Pack ROM. Um, I think it's an awesome ROM. Uh, I should have done this a long time ago. Uh, I think I did do one for my Samsung Galaxy Note 8, I think, a while ago. I think that was a lollipop build. Uh, but I haven't done one in Marshmallow, and I definitely have not done one for the Nexus 6. So uh, here you guys go. Um, again, if you guys liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, I do appreciate all my subscribers, and I will see you on the next one.